let's take a simple, simple problem of longitudinal magnification. What does that mean? That means what if the what if the object which was what standing in SA is SA parallel to principal axis? Then what is a caveman primitive Neanderthal thought? Like without any uh, common sense or uh, wisdom or intelligence, what is a brute force thought? That a brute force thought is very simple, sir. Basically, your object is A B, na? Yeah. So your A, here is your A B. Why don't you find the image of A, A dash? Find the image of B, B dash. Whatever is the difference between them, that's the that's the image length. Big deal. Ye lo. Fair enough. I mean, not bad, ah, not bad. But there is a problem. You want to see what's the problem or you want the solution first? Nahi na? First, let me give you the problem. So again, I'm presenting you something. The caveman approach of an object lying on the principal axis is what? Find out the image of the extreme positions and go for it. But what if the life is not that simple? You have an object which is at 60 centimeter from the pole of a concave mirror of focal length 10 centimeter. Find the position. Sir, I think this is a wrong problem. This is a very simple problem and we are in the much advanced things. Hold on. Have patience. Okay. 1 by V plus 1 by U. U is how much? Sir, minus 60. 1 by minus 10. Minus 10, right? 1 by V is 1 by 60 minus 1 by 10, right? LCM is 60, right? 1 minus 6, right? Or V is equal to minus 5 by 60, I think minus 12 centimeters. How much is U equal to? Sir, U is equal to minus 60 centimeters. Take your time. <clears throat> take your time. Why take your time? That's fairly simple. Now, it's a point object. It's a point object. Question is, what if somebody moves this object one millimeter towards the mirror? What? Yeah. One millimeter. Now that's not fair. Ab kya karoge? Did you get the question right? Okay, like I get your point what you're saying, sir. Like you are saying that find two images. Like O, O dash, right? Basically, O, O dash. Question is find I, I dash. Is the question clear? Ha huh, ha, huh, question is clear. I mean, what can you do? Like, mm, so uh, for O, at O, what is U equal to, my dear? Sir, U is minus 60 centimeter. That helped you find V as what? Sir, V became minus 12 centimeter. Good for you. Nice. At O dash, what is U, my dear? <laughs> Sir, U is 1 mm. So, that now U is minus 59.9 centimeters because 1 mm is how much? 0.1 centimeter, na? Ah, uh, so I, I didn't get. What is the problem? Really? You still did not get what is the problem? The problem is 1 by V plus 1 by 59.9 is 1 by minus 10. Who will do this calculation? Are ha, acha. Get it? If, so sir, Hold on. But what else could there be? There Now, now you are talking. Did you understand the problem? Yes, sir. I will say the problem out loud. The problem is, on paper, to find out the length of, of, an object, of, an, of an object's image, which is parallel to principal axis, is that find the image of the extremities. Na? On paper, this method is correct. But it's not useful all the time. It's easier said than done. It's not always applicable or it's not always convenient. But, an examiner will never ask you a question just to make your life hell. An examiner always asks you a question which looks like an escape room. And there is definitely, most definitely, a key. So, ready? Ready, sir. Watch. What if the displacement of the object or the object length along the principal axis is very small? You have to, you have to get convinced. 1 mm is very small as compared to 60 centimeters. Yeah, so, 
सो डी वी बाय डी टी इज माइनस वी स्क्वेर बाय यू स्क्वेर डी यू बाय डी टी हा सो होल्ड ऑन ना एट यू एट वी नाउ द यू चेंज यू बिकेम यू प्लस डी यू एंड एज अ रिजल्ट वी बिकेम वी प्लस डी वी वेर डी यू एंड डी वी आर वेरी स्मॉल चेंजेस वेल इफ दैट इज ट्रू एंड दे आर वेरी स्मॉल वॉट यू कैन थिंक इज दैट इफ इट इज सो स्मॉल यू कैन कीप द प्राइमरी वी एंड यू वैल्यू इन टैक्ट डी वी इज नथिंग बट चलो ठीक है डी वी इज अप्रॉक्सिमेटली v square by u square du with the minus sign sorry minus v square by u square d watch look at the bottom don't for, what is the keyword here sir keyword is that's the keyword but there is a problem what's the problem sir प्रॉब्लम इज दैट ओके ठीक है प्रॉब्लम इज दैट डोंट बी ब्लाइंड ओके आई विल शो यू द प्रॉब्लम रुको लेट्स से एफ इज एफ इज सिक्सटी सेंटी चलो ठीक है सिक्सटी सेंटीमीटर और सिक्सटी सेंटीमीटर फर्ज करो ठीक है Where is the object here, sir? Object right now is let's say at fifty nine point nine centimeter. Aha, uh -huh. possible? Ha, huh? possible. What if the object walks two mm to the left? So, so what? Are what? So what? If between O and O dash, there is focus here, and the moment you are at focus, the image goes at infinity. So get what I'm saying? Basically, yes. Don't I'm saying? See, this classic proof of the fact: never use the word always and never so like uh, so freely and so liberally. So don't say, sir, this formula is always valid. Relax, relax the always part. Be conscious of the fact that everything is in domain. Ha, this is better. Everything should be in domain of the function, hey na? Like when I when I say one upon x minus three, what is the one thing? One upon x minus three x cannot be equal to three. Simple. So do everything in the function where tamiz say in manners that nothing blows up. So you can't afford to have focus in between your displacement because focus image will be infinity. Then the question is moot, redundant, useless. Got it? So be careful. 